What's up, G Fusion Fest? This is Philip once again with another video. Now, Avatar the Sentai Dom Brothers has already released their toy line, you know, uh, actually a couple months early before the show actually even starts. So, you know, if, uh, let's say, for example, if any of you guys are interested in actually getting Dom Brothers toys, which ones would you buy or you should buy or which ones would I recommend that you guys buy? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Now, seeing that uh, Don Brothers toys are you know, going to be closely related to Zen Kaiger because, uh, well, Don Brothers is basically a sequel to Zen Kaiger. So, I can definitely see that the toys are already, you know, uh, going to be very, very similar. So, let's start off with the Henshin devices and all the other deluxe accessories that come with it. So, should you buy it? Well, uh, seeing uh, how, you know, the Gear Tlinger was... It was great. So, should you buy it? Well, uh, the short answer, yes. Uh, but long answer, yes, if you can, <laughs> if you have the budget to buy all of them. Or at least if you're gonna buy one uh, DX device, uh, then, well, at least go for the Dawn Blaster because that's what I think they're gonna use to transform. Yeah. I, I can pretty much see it as, you know, the sequel to the uh, Gear Tlinger as well. So, if you're going to buy at least one Deluxe uh, Henshin or Narikiri item, uh, then go for the Dawn Blaster. So, yeah. Uh, but uh, I think all the other accessories are good. So, uh, like the sword. I, I kind of like the sword, but... Uh, Looks kind of short. <laughs> and like, give me a longer one. So uh, if they do, then I'll probably buy it, <laughs> hopefully. But yeah, uh, you guys can go for the Dawn Blaster. Now, for the Deluxe uh, Mecha. So you can get uh, the Enya Raidon by itself. Or you can buy a Don Zenkai O set which includes a deluxe uh zenkai juran that of course has uh, the you know th which is basically the same zenkai juran that's been available since last year you know they're just uh re reproducing uh, the same stuff but uh with enyaraidon which also uh, is able to combine with uh, zenkai juran in order to form that uh, Don uh, Zenkai O that you are gonna get. So, if I were to recommend, uh, I'd say j just go for the Don Zenkai O set, really. It's gonna be uh, a lot more worth it. Uh, at least, if, you know, if you're going to spend money, like, go uh, buy, at, go buy, the deluxe uh, version anyway. So if you're going to buy any item by itself, well, sure, it has some playability, but again, if you are aiming for that uh, Don Zenkai O, oh, I think really it's gonna be much better just to buy the Don Zenkai O oh set, you know? And Speaking of Don Zenkaio, let's say that you are going to, uh, you know, buy Don Zenkaio set. Well, there is one particular issue that uh, we need to address here. It's that the legs are not going to look proportionate. So the main problem is Zenkai Juran's legs are at least when you... Uh, turn it into a component for Zenkai-O, 
the left leg, because, well, Jiran forms the left side of Zenkai-O, has a major design flaw, which it looks so slim that, you know, having at least a more accurate proportion with the right side, with the Enya Raidon, so the right leg is gonna look much bigger than the left leg. However, there is a solution for that. Uh, there, there's a reason why I'm putting uh, quotation marks there. So there is the metal appendage accessory. Well, as you as you can probably tell, it's made out of metal. So you know you use it to make. Uh, I believe you do attach it onto the left leg of Zenkai O, or at least the Junan's uh, version, to make it look proportionately bigger. But that metal appendage is ban P Bandai exclusive, and probably costs more than the Eya Raidon set itself, or the Don Zenkai O set rather. So yeah, if you want a more quote-unquote accurate uh, Don Zenkai O in terms of proportion, then you really would have to uh, be able to spend more, you know, at, or at least you're willing to spend more in order to uh, not only get uh, the whole uh, Don Zenkai O set but also the metal appendage which uh, you know from a consumer's perspective uh, for, for me personally that's a hard pass okay however all is not lost if you want a Don Zenkai O that is very much proportionate with more articulation for a much cheaper price, then I highly recommend that you wait for the Mini Plus version to come out. Well, uh, there is a drawback to that, of course. That's, uh, you know, it's, of course, gonna be much smaller than uh, the Deluxe version, obviously. And because it's just a plastic model, it's not going to have the sound, uh, you know, that uh, Zenkai Juran has. So there is, um, there are sounds with the uh, Don uh, Zenkai O set. However, uh, it's only with Zenkai Juran. So the sound parts are all in Zenkai Juran. There are no sound parts for the Enya Raidor. So keep that in mind. So again, if you do want that deluxe quality, go for the Don Zenkai O set. If you want it to look more accurate, get the metal appendage. But that one, I personally would not recommend. If you are really going to get that deluxe Don Zenkai O, then just go uh, get the Don, Zenka Don Zenkai O by itself. But uh, yeah you're going to have to deal with that uh, awkward left leg. But, if again, if you don't want to deal with that awkward left leg without breaking the bank, then, uh, you know, uh, we got to compromise here and just stick with the mini plan. So, again, it's going to be more articulate. Well, uh, it's definitely much cheaper, even if we buy a few boxes uh, to complete it, it's still going to be uh, definitely a lot cheaper than the deluxe version. So yeah, I guess another uh, downside to that is that uh, because it is a plastic model, there you will have to put some stickers on it. So it's going to be a lot more work, definitely. But again, uh, it's a compromise that we are going to have to deal with, uh, considering, again, uh, we're, getting, we're getting it cheaper. That's the I think that's the biggest uh, uh, selling point of the Mini Plug compared to the Deluxe version. 
Now, let's move on to the figures, okay? Because just like uh, Zen Kaiger, Dawn Brothers will also release figures of the Rangers through the Form Change series, although they don't real or change hero series, although they really don't change into anything. But consider like seeing that uh, Zen Kaiger, you know, and the uh, Dawn Brothers are basically going to be again like the same series, you know, this, a direct sequel to that. So I'm gonna assume that they're also releasing the Yudo set as well. Now. I'm actually going to uh, grab here, uh, so my Yudo, uh, Zen Kaiser, and then you have here, change heroes to Kaiser. Can you see the difference between them? If you say no, then uh, you're basically correct. Now, uh... Seeing, uh, when I looked at the Yudo Zen Kaiser, uh, so let's take this guy, for example. And then compared to the Change Heroes version, this is way better compared to that. I mean, uh, the articulation is very much the same, although the difference is, well, they do have, uh, this one has a movable cape, uh, the... Change Heroes version actually doesn't have a movable cape, but the size, proportion, and articulation for the rest of the body, they're exactly the same. Also, you get a more color-accurate Zenkaiser with the Yudo version. I mean, look at those stickers on both sides of his Geertlinger. All of the lines... All of the gold lines that are in there, those are shiny stickers. And the red is more vibrant. Yeah, the painted areas are... There are some painted areas here uh, at the back of the cape. The red on the Change Heroes version, not so vibrant. I mean, look at this one. Uh... It's dark in comparison, although they should be the same red if you look at the costumes. So, like, if I compare this Zenkaiser, this Yudo Zenkaiser, to the Change Heroes version, you get basically the same stuff for much cheaper. I'll say it again. The same quality for a much cheaper price. Well, more or less the same quality. Well, uh, at least with the, you know, uh, Change Heroes, there are no stickers involved. So that's at least one less, uh, you know, uh, thing that you have to worry about. Now, at least the uh, two Kaiser, kind of worth it because you do get to switch between uh three modes again uh, you do uh here he is uh i just have him stuck in uh shinkenger form but you also have parts for the old ranger form and of course his uh classic uh two kaiser suit which uh i guess if you're going to buy the Yudo version of Two Kaiser, by the way, just go for the Super Two Kaiser, because well, uh, it's Super Two Kaiser. Uh, they don't have the Change Heroes version, so at least if you're going for Two Kaiser, so without the Super, well, at least this is kind of okay. But yeah, uh, it's uh, I think it's too much. So, again, uh, if you are uh, gonna get figures, let's say, especially if you're going to get the Don Momotaro, and let's say that you want him, you know, riding the Enya Raidon if you're getting the deluxe one, right? Uh, getting either the Yudo or the Change Heroes would basically be the same. Now, I've seen 
uh, early reviews of the Change Heroes uh, Don Momotaro. Well, he does have, again, basically the same kind of articulation. Right? It's the same thing. He has his Dawn Blaster, sure, but where's his sword, man? Where's his sword? I want his sword. So if we are going to get the Yudo version of Don Momotaro, for example, I know for a fact that he will have the Dawn Blaster included. Let's say uh, we're going to have to put stickers on him to make him a, a bit more color accurate, but that's not the problem here. So that one I would be totally fine with because it was much cheaper. It would be much cheaper, you know. And probably all the weapons, including his sword, would be in would be part of a separate, uh, you know, part set like with the other Zankaijers. So this uh, open hand right here. Uh, Zen Kaiser doesn't really have an open hand. If you buy only this uh, figure, you actually, I actually got this from Zen Kai Red. The open hands are already in one box, so that's why uh, Zen Kai Red is my favorite uh, Yudo Zen Kaiser so far. So. Uh, this is actually way better than this because you have the open hands, which this guy didn't have. So this hand right here is actually this guy's hand. So, yeah. Now, again, uh, let's go back to Don Momotaro because let's assume that, uh, you know, he's going to come out in, uh, in Yudo form as well. So most likely he's going to end up like uh, Zen Kaiser. At least, uh, again, even if he only comes with the Dawn Blaster, I would be fine with that. Uh, if I'm going to, let's say, buy the uh, option part set, you know, uh, where I believe it's going to include, like, uh, the other uh, weapons for the other uh, Dawn Brothers, but... Uh, yeah, uh, that's what I assume that they will do as well. So just get the the Yudo. If uh, again, I'm assuming that they they are going to do the same for the Yudo figures for Dawn Brothers. Just get the Yudo. Yeah. And given that they are, you know. The same uh, proportion, basically the uh, the same uh, articulation, basically. So you you can still have your Don Momotaro and have him ride the Enya uh, Enya ride on, no problem. It's gonna be compatible. So uh, see you you're already spending uh, much less for basically the same kind of gimmick, right? So, uh, yeah, for me, uh, still, uh, based on experience, Yudo trumps Change Heroes series. So, okay. Now, uh, Vinyl figures, I will never recommend them. <laughs> You're better off buying a Yudo figure than a Vinyl figure, I would say. Because right now, uh, vinyl figures are sold at almost 1,000 yen. I remember when I started buying Super Sentai, uh, when I bought my first and so far only uh, Super Sentai figure, which was Geki Red, I was fine with that because during that time, those would be like 200, 300 yen on the market. Considering how inflation has changed over the years really you know honestly lay off the vinyl figures you're better off with a yudo like this for much cheaper but you get a lot more action i repeat this is much cheaper you get more okay so 
really, if you're going to buy the Ranger figures, uh, for, uh, even for, like, Zenkai, uh, Zenkaiger, you know, uh, go for the Yudo instead. It'll be much more worth it. So, yeah. So, I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, so again, uh, to summarize, if you are going for uh, the transformation devices and weapons, so at least get the Dawn Blaster uh, if you're stuck with the one choice. Uh, if you're going for the Deluxe Mecha, go for the Dawn Zenkai O set. But uh, I do not recommend getting the metal appendage because it's expensive. So if you want the cheaper version of that, uh, go for the Minipla. And if you want the Ranger figures, go for the Yudo instead. So yeah, that's my advice for anyone who is, you know, uh, let's say if there's anyone out there who's actually interested in getting uh, Dawn Brothers toys in the future. So... Uh, at least you have some idea on what to buy and what not to buy. So you can actually save yourself some money. Because uh, that's actually my goal for this video. Is to help you guys save some money. Uh, especially in these, you know, uh, still somewhat trying times. So yeah. Anyways, I hope this video helps. And uh, like I always say, please do leave a like comment, share this video, subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from GE Fusion. This has been Philip, and I'll see you in the next video. Zenkai Red all the way, man. This is the best. Bye.